far from the eyes and ears of George of the Jungle. A crack team of experts embark on a mission so dangerous, they were paid in diapers. <laughs> Are we making a right turn? And those diapers are going to come in handy. Because this mission is about to go horribly wrong. Back in the jungle of Mwimbawe. Uh, run away, Floyd! George, aim for the emergency hippos! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, ain't worry too much. Take these earplugs. What for? Yeah! <laughs> uh, could we have a single file line, please? Hello? How come they understand George, but not me? Because you don't speak hippo? Where is George, anyway? George is inside, getting healed by head nurse Magnolia, whose hard work and dedication has made the Healing Hippo Hospital. No, no, wait. Magnolia's sparkling castle of hippo health, the jungle's premier source for warm hugs and magic. Does that mean George is okay? I put some ointment on him. <laughs> uh, what's that noise? Hmm. Mr. Jungle. Oh, Mr. of the Jungle, but we don't use male names around here. Just call me George. I apologize. Pando, my card. Edward Madman? A pronounced Madman. <laughs> this is Mr. Pando, my loyal and completely trustworthy associate. Do not be frightened. His looks could kill, but he could not. You see? To meet a legend is always disarming. <laughs> I expected you'd be... Less greasy? Uh, George just got some owie ointment. Yeah. On second thought, you are what I expected of a man raised in the jungle. Also, what I desperately need. Where can we talk? Anywhere but in a library. There is nothing like the outdoors. Do you agree, George? Oh, true. But indoors has more furniture. I just love the feeling of the earth beneath Pando's feet. So, loving nature as I do, and being a Brazilianaire, I decided to use my vast wealth to build my own jungle. You built a jungle? Yes. It's an exact duplicate of your own jungle, George, in every detail, from the twisting rivers to the berries on the trees. But just don't eat the berries that fell off of Rhino's backside. Yucky aftertaste. Good advice. <laughs> I'll remember that, Mr. Pando. I give you Isla Guapo. Bird Poop Island? Uh, that's Guano. Guapo is handsome. Oh, oh, Guano isn't. No, 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 it isn't. I flew in one million tons of soil, trees, birds, animals. I believe I've actually improved on your own jungle, George. Oh, <laughs> can't you prove on George's jungle? It has an ice cream stand with 55 flavors and two dozen toppings. Pando, show George the toppings. Oh, mini marshmallows! Oh. But mini marshmallows do not come for free. I need a little favor. I need a little more ointment. Three friends of mine are lost. They went into the jungle on a 
vacation. You want George to rescue your friends? Oh, you don't have to give George Minnie Marshmallows for that. Oh, but I will pay you Minnie Marshmallows and more. You and your team. Your best surveillance expert. Uh, has anyone seen my binoculars? Your muscle. <laughs> your eyes and ears in the sky. <laughs> and your master of disguise. Oh, delicious termite beard. Oh. And someone to put ointment on your eyes. <laughs> Together, you'll help me find my friends, and I will be grateful. I thank you all for coming. Someone's got to keep an eye on George. Oh, she's right. I didn't know we had to take a helicopter. I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> Yeah, and when an ape gets carsick, it isn't pretty. I assure you, the helicopter is safe. And you'll find my island stocked with the most delicious bugs money can buy. I'm in. <laughs> and at the center of the island, you'll find a world-class spa. An angle body scrub, mud bath, and hair mask? Why, of course. Okay! These are my associates I spoke of. I'm sure they've simply wandered into the jungle and are having such a good time they won't come out. <laughs> they don't look all that friendly. Oh, they're a fine bunch. You'll probably find them in the shade of a majestic volcano drinking guava nectar. <laughs> If you could just find them before they get too much fruity fiber. <laughs> Take us down nice and slow, Pendo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Isla Wapo. <laughs> which doesn't mean bird poop. Yacht. <laughs> what? You, you don't want to stay out here with us? With ground as our mattress, sky as our blanket, the moon as our annoying nightlight, which you can never turn out, and with the fire ants and the overly friendly beach fleas. Oh, don't get me wrong. I love nature more than anything. But I also love fluffy blankets and flat screen TV. A fluffy blanket? Well, good night, everyone. And if you hear some weird, unnatural sounds at night, why, just ignore them. <laughs> Ta-ta! What a nice and not at all suspicious man! <laughs> <sighs> More driftwood soup? Gee, thanks, no. What do we know about this madman? He says he loves the jungle, but he sleeps on a yacht a mile away. This whole thing worries me. Why? Girls are gonna get mango mud bath thingies? <sighs> I could use a bath. George gets new man-made jungle to explore. Ape gets big juicy bugs. You're just being a big, worrying Walter. A skeptical Sam. A cautious Calvin. Did you guys get a thesaurus or something? Indubitably. It's illustrated. <gasps> what was that? A water buffalo, you think? Not buffalo. A bit like Rhino getting wedgie, but not quite. Well, you know all the animals. What is it? George never heard this animal before. <sighs> I hope they're up to the task ahead, Mr. Pando. 
Mr. Pando? On the mysterious Isla Guapo, which doesn't mean Island of Bird Poop, George's crack rescue team helps the mysterious Mr. Madman find his missing friends, who are said to be having so much fun, they don't want to leave. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ape's forehead has developed squiggly lines on top. Hmm, I'm worried about those noises we heard last night. Oh, Ape is such a pessimistic Paul. Always thinks coconut is half empty. Uh. <sighs> I think that one was completely full. There, that's the spirit. I can't wait to get to that spa. Magnolia, we're not here to get our hair done. This is a serious rescue mission. Ah! Ah! Mr. Batman, mine, you startled me. Good morning, George of the Jungle and friends. Uh, good morning. I trust that you slept well, and now it is time for you to go home. Hooray! But we need to rescue your friends. Yes, these people are safely aboard my yacht. Yacht. My yacht now. No more rescue. Hooray! <laughs> But, Mr. Madman? Madman! Okay, Crack Rescue Team, let's rescue! Ouch! Okay, looks like the fastest way to the majestic volcano is past the Cave of Ghostly Shrieks, up Slaughter Mountain, and through Dead Man's Rock Slide? And what's a slow way? Hmm. Better ask Friendly Bird if we're going the right way. Hello. Than usual. Why? <laughs> hmm. Just asking. Maybe George should climb up and see directions for himself. <laughs> hmm. no! <laughs> George is starting to think trees don't want George to climb them. Hey, guys, where's Shep? Shep? Shep! 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 Here, boy! Uh, George, I think he went this way. Uh, <laughs> right. His tracks end here. <laughs> Bandages? Limb glue? Limb glue? Oh, please! George will save you! <laughs> it came from that way! Understand anything in this jungle? <laughs> Was that Madman's friends? Was that a half tiger, half giraffe? <laughs> Glad I wasn't at that wedding. <laughs> uh, huh. George will save them. How? Luckily, there's a worn-out bridge over a big pit with ropes that are just about to break. Oh, goody.
<laughs> Ursula, if I don't make it... I want you to send my clogs to the Museum of Shoes. Magnolia, you're going to make it. But just for the record, why can I keep them? Because my feet are naturally dainty. <laughs> the humans you brought to defeat me will never succeed, Mr. Madman and Elephant. George is the greatest jungle expert in the world. He will overcome you. <laughs> Nature is harsh, Mr. Madman. Your friends will soon find out how harsh. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm a worried Walter, am I? A cautious Calvin? A... I'm a petrified Peter! <laughs> what is it? What do you call something that roars like a lion, has a tail like a crocodile? Do those javelins? I call them, sir? Hey, wait a minute! There is no such animal! Uh, uh, uh. Excuse me there, Mr. No Such Animal! George was wondering if you could stop chasing my friends. You're kind of scaring them. an empty metal cavity. It's more like an empty coconut. Oh, thanks! <laughs> Bet you're glad I'm here to save you, huh? <laughs> but but now you're trapped down here with us. Yes, but I brought along a crack rescue team. A robotic snake with razor-sharp teeth? Oh, don't be silly! <laughs> Everything's motors and wires, the trees, the animals. Oh, boy. The control center became intelligent. It started inventing new creatures to attack us. Sanchez and Moldrick were supposed to get me inside so I could shut it down. 
I say we take the jungle boy with us. He was pretty handy with that snake. Uh, maybe when he gets his confidence back. <laughs> it's okay. You'll be okay. We're okay. <laughs> shut me down? Ah! You will never shut me down. <laughs> Last time on George of the Jungle. My God, Edward Madman. Madman. This is Pando. I need a little favor. You want George to rescue your friends? The control center became intelligent. Sanchez and Moldrick were supposed to get me inside so I could shut it down. Shut me down? <laughs> <laughs> The man-made jungle of Trezillionaire, Edward Madmon, is mysterious. <coughs> Almost as mysterious as his rescue team our heroes came here to find. And there's Sergeant Moldrick. He once captured an entire army by himself, using only a box of toothpicks and a pound of butter. He says he could have done it without the butter. Specialist Sanchez. She can say, sorry I karate chopped you in 17 languages. And Waplo, the scientist. Basically a skinny guy with glasses. I've kept a log of all the robotic animals we've seen since we got here. At first, it was cybernetic replicas of naturally occurring jungle animals. But then we started seeing animal hybrids. Mechanical freaks! Something is taking over Mr. Madman's jungle and creating these violent and unpredictable robo-mutants. If they get off the island, they would wreak havoc on civilized society. And after that, Scotland. So the island's out of control. But how's the spa? Oh. There's no spa, Maggie. There never was. <laughs> This key unlocks the control center. That's where we have to go if we want to save all of mankind. Also, I'm hoping there's a bathroom. We should go. Uh, George? George? George has to hug tree goodbye. Oh, it might take a while. Better go on without me. George, what's happened to your king of the jungle confidence? Oh, George never knows what to do in this creepy mad mun made jungle. George, this may be a man-made jungle of metal, but it's a replica of our jungle, and nobody knows our jungle better than you. Right? Huh? Who's the jungle man? Come on, let's go! No! The control center entrance should be around here. So this is the blueprint of the control room? Simple, right? But first, we've got to get inside. And find that bathroom! Hmm. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Tuki, hello. Whoa! George, don't sneak up on me like that. Ah, ah, ah. Huh? Ah! Ah! Ursula. Shh. <laughs> hey, Chef! You came back! Good doggy! No! Uh, doggy? I'll explain later. <laughs> Jeb says Ursula went this way. We're moving out. Come on, Jeb. Uh, 
actually, I'm a prisoner too. <laughs> <laughs> Shep says Ursula is inside this wall. Hello? 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 <laughs> Ursula! Looks like we're going in. So speak up now if you'd rather cower for safety while we heroically save the world. Really? We can pick cower for safety? <sighs> Just get in the cave. Yeah! <laughs> 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 All those years washing your sandwiches and cutting the crust off your feet. I was listening, learning. But the world was going to marvel at my perfect replica of the jungle. I was going to put your name in the thank yous. You didn't see the evil potential of your work, but I did! <laughs> Tigers combined with giraffes, zebras with orangutans combined with tarantulas. New robotic mutant animals that will take over the world! <laughs> <laughs> with you as their leader, I bet. Ooh, I hadn't thought of that. That does sound like fun. <laughs> Way to go. Sorry. Ooh, is this your earring? No precious metal, just a common functional earring. Looks like we're going in. I'll go first. <laughs> George? Come on, George. You've done things ten times more dangerous than this. Oh, that was before we came to Big Metal Island. Now George will only be careful. Like a bonnet. Right? You thought your friends could stop me. They'll never get past the giant mechanical tunnel crab! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but they'll never make it past the roller coaster of death! Or the boiling lava of uh, hot death! <laughs> My data suggests we go this way. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Shep doesn't use the upper seat belt. George, this is a robotic replica of Shep, and he's taken us prisoner. <gasps> Bad doggy! <laughs> I don't like the looks of this. Yeah, then do what I do, Fuzzball. Don't look! Hold on. Okay. You don't stand a chance, give up. You don't stand a chance, give up. You don't stand a chance, give up. You don't.
not arrogantly tampered with nature. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your friends with the key won't be making it. Pity. And let's have some lava, shall we? will be here. George Fox, getting ever closer to the bubbling lava, he has but one thing on his mind. Mmm, coconut sandwich would be great right now. George! No lettuce, just coconut and bread. George! George! Lucky! Problem is, George does not know what to do. You've done harder stuff than this before. Do what you do best. George, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. he's safe. Woo! Thank goodness, we're safe at last. Yeah! <laughs> Please refrain from any deliberating, cheering, or happiness until after you've been permanently sealed in hot lava. <laughs> oh, what a jerk. Don't worry, Ursula. George is going to get us all back to the real jungle. You sure? Yep. But first, George has to get us all out of here. George? <laughs> Upsy doodles! Oh, oh no! Oh, unhand me, you! Double jump! He, he's not going to jump in here! I take that as a guess. Well, well, Mr. George of the Jungle, you may have stopped me from making deep-fried do-gooders out of you all, but this volcano is just getting warm! Robot Madman! I can't get this! You have to push this button at the same time. Oh, thank you. It's gonna reach the tunnel! They're saved! It's gonna lift them up to the tunnel! Run! Ah! 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 Key! I've lost the key! I'm going back in. You're going back in there for a missing necklace? Good point. You terrified? Oh, uh, because this is just regular everyday danger. I'm king of the jungle again. Rats. Being a bad guy was supposed to be so easy. Because I'm happy when I'm dancing. <laughs> How did that video get there? Uh, <laughs> 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 
Good job, soldier! You're welcome on my team anytime. Ando and I went everywhere together. He carried me up Mount Everest. He swam me across the English Channel. What did I do to drive you away? Uh, whatever you did, I, I think he's driving back. information from a cable which enters the island here. Okay, is anyone afraid of the water? <gasps> yeah, terrified! Don't worry. George will be right back. Uh, I got the boat. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> there they are. Animals attack! <laughs> Which one of these buttons makes the animals attack? The cables should be right underneath us. You never said what we were gonna do when we find it. We're gonna unplug it. Yeah! Follow George! George! Mini marshmallows. Me. 
I didn't have this eject in case of emergency part because I didn't anticipate an emergency. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no! Hey, what's going on? Go. And hello, Mr. Eel. Nice Eely. <laughs> you know, you're all right. Call me. <laughs> I believe I owe you all an apology and a helicopter ride home. I'm digging my way home for fun with my bare hands. I suppose I have learned one must never interfere with nature. Hmm. I thought you learned that you shouldn't take your friends for granted. Okay. That too. Come along, me. All right. Coconut oil and rose petals, please. Ah. Mm -mm. Yep, rocking in a hammock at home, eating 15 scoop ice cream. It's like it never happened.